Welcome back to Sam's Watch Review. This is Casio W216H, which as the name suggests, is an older model compared to the W217, 218, and also 219. But it seems that this watch didn't get as much attention as the later models. So let me review this watch and present you with what I think are the good reasons to get it and what are the side notes. But before that, let's take a look at the specifications and details. This watch is medium in size, it's 46mm long, 43.8mm wide, and just 11.3mm thick. And for the weight, it's only 35 grams. For toughness, it's 50 meter water resistant, and for the battery life, it's 7 years with CR 2016. About the materials, the case is made from resin plastic, the crystal is from resin glass, and it has a flat surface, while the straps are polyurethane resin. This is the close-up look at the case. On the left side, it has two buttons, the 12-24-hour button that also works for start-stop, and the mode button. On the right side, it has only one button for the backlight. If we take a closer look at the buttons, it shows surface patterns that will help with the operation. And also, they are slightly protected by the case, making them not easily pushed by accident. For the front side, we can see that the case is just giving minimum protection to the watch crystal and here we also found four screws as decorations. It doesn't hold anything like the bezel or the case. On the back side, we can find a stainless steel back plate with four screws and here engraved the specifications, module code 3435, model name W216H, water resistance spec 5 bars or 50 meters, and production location. The strap interface is using 18 mm spring bars, which is common for general Casio models, and there's opening access at the back of the straps. And here's the side view of the strap interface, which looks good. Now let's take a look at the straps. It uses the same model as AE1200 and AE1300. Here's the tail side, and here's the buckle side, with plastic buckle. Now for the display, it has this round indicator at the top left, alarm, signal, PM, and 24 hour. And then the top display shows the day and date. And for the main display, it shows hour, minute, and second. What I like about the display is that both the top and the main display numbers are quite large, easy to read. This watch has four modes, the timekeeping mode, and then the alarm mode with hourly signal, and then stopwatch, and adjust mode. Another thing that I like about this watch is its decent backlight. Just press the right button, and we can see the amber colored light. It's just that it doesn't have afterglow, meaning that when we stop pushing the button, it's suddenly off. And now, time for the list of 6 things that you will love about this watch. First, it's comfortable to wear. With its medium size, lightweight, and reasonable thickness, you'll have no discomfort to put this watch on your wrist every day. Number two is the large numbers. This is another good thing that adds to the comfort of wearing this watch. Number three, the button design. There are two good things about the button design. They have textured surface, which makes them easy to operate, and also slightly protected by the case, which makes them not easily pushed by accident. Number four, decent backlight. Yes, there's no afterglow with this watch, but the bright amber light alone is great for readability in the dark. Number 5, decent strap, common to AE1200 and AE1300. It looks good, feels good, and also easy to find a replacement if ever they broke, which resin straps will usually do. And the last one, number 6, it has a different style than the popular W217, 218, and 219H. Yes, many people love those three models, you might see them a lot, and surely it's for good reasons, but if you want something different, 
then this model definitely is a great choice. However, there are also some things that are not the best feature of this watch. First, it uses resin glass and has minimum bezel protection, so you might expect to see some scratches in the future. Number two, it costs more than the subsequent models. As of now, this model costs about $5 more than the later models. And number three, if you expect more digital features, then this watch only has the basic function, as it has no countdown timer or dual time. Well, that's all my take on this watch, Casio W216H. This watch will serve well as a digital beater and is an awesome alternative to the W217, 218, and 219H. I hope you really enjoy this review. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.